Welcome everybody, Jim Lee from terraforminginc.com, climateviewer.com, resonated.net, and resonated.com. Here with an update on the last story and a tale about hurricane modification. Uh, real quickly on the last story, uh, the story is about a rapid methane release up in the North Pole. Um, coupled with a call to all the world's leaders to geoengineer the world quickly, um, followed up by the UK government telling them to chill out, topped off with some crazy radars making diamond dust in the sky. To answer a couple of quick questions that a lot of people have had, um, I believe the story is most likely um, alarmist at best. Um, is it possible? Yes. Um, can it, it, it blow up and do what they're saying? It's probably true is it going to happen anytime soon nobody knows that being said it is a the perfect boogeyman to scare um politicians who don't understand the science um coupled with obama saying that he's going to act on climate change um and his track record of um issuing executive edicts um it makes me feel like this is almost inevitable so to sum it all up they've got their perfect boogeyman um, they're going to present it to the politicians, and they're probably going to bite it um, hook, line, and sinker. So unless um, every who in Whoville raises their voice and knows what they're talking about, uh, we will not be heard, and uh, we will receive the, the geoengineering treatment. I'm Department sure. of Homeland Security and NOAA Hurricane Modification Workshop 2008. Much has been made to, of this meeting. Now, as far as I know, in all of my research, I haven't seen anybody actually found out what happened at the meeting. So I actually found this document in uh, Stephen Salter's personal stash. He, um, I, I talked to the geoengineers on the, the Google Geoengineering Forum, and uh, he said, well, you know, I'm very open source. Here's all my stuff. So I was rooting through it, and um, this is what I found. <laughs> So we have Boulder, Colorado, February 6th through 7th, 2008. The Department of Homeland Security Science Technology Directorate had a meeting with the NOAA people and some dudes from Israel and UCAR, NCAR, and they talked about how to modify hurricanes. Now, I could spend an hour going through all this stuff. I'm going to hit the main points. Limited scale field tests, salt seeding tests, carbon black aerosol, upper ocean cooling, Ion generators. Oh, that, that might be something you've never heard of. Luckily, I've already researched that as well. Um, you guys need to come over here and check out the ion manipulation systems. This is new science. It's not even agreed upon by the WMO and the World Meteorological Organization. They say that there's no proof to this science. Nonetheless, groups like Aquies, the Global Rain Project, claim to be moving continent-wide uh, swaths of water overhead to the Horn of Africa to do um, drought mitigation. And there's a lot of investors in here. And, and they even go so far as the, the CEO of the company says, in the U.S. they're trying to modify the ionosphere to get weather changes. So there you go. Um, so look into that. But they specifically say ion generators. Um, seeding and monolayer films. Now, I'm going to quickly run through what these are. Salt seeding, that's, um, uh, that's the silver lining boats. That's um, Stephen Salter and John Latham. They have boats that spray salt water up into the air to do cloud albedo modification, which means they make the clouds brighter. Um, then you have carbon black aerosol. Carbon black is a, is a big naughty word. Um, if you start doing a little research on it, you'll see that um, there are claims out there that says that carbon black intensifies hurricanes. Nonetheless, I find it ironic, and I added this in, U.S. Air Force chemtrails with carbon black roadmap to weather modification in 2025. This is from the weather a roadmap to weather modification in 2025 from the Air Force 2025 documents. And if you see right about here, um, it says application to weather modification, WX mod. So applications to weather modification, CBD, CBD is carbon black dust, says 2005. So in 2005, the Air Force had the ability to use carbon black dust to do this. There you go. Little coincidence. Upper ocean cooling, this is uh, Atmotion Inc.'s uh, 
wave driven upwelling pumps and what they are uh inner tube <laughs> just imagine an inner tube with a straw in the center of it and the straw goes down to the bottom of the ocean that straw sucks cold water from the bottom of the ocean sucks it up to the surface it cools the surface temperatures which should mitigate um hurricanes ion generators i haven't read enough of this yet to even know why they would have an ion generator even in this list but um and then cloud seeding long history of that project Cirrus, project scud Project Storm Fury, um, the the federal government has tried this before, um, and, you know, they abandoned those projects. Well, you know, after Hurricane Katrina, the Department of Homeland Security found interest in um, trying to mitigate hurricanes, so that's why this, this meeting is taking place. And then monolayer films, this is like laying, um, imagine laying a blanket on top of the ocean to actually keep... Um, some of the moisture and heat from rising into the hurricane, um, things like that. Um, that's uh, Mash Alamaro from MIT is um, specializing in that, I believe. But you can go on down through here and read all of their proceedings. I added this picture in from the Storm Fury thing, but everything else is as it appeared in the document, which is linked at the top. And then down at the bottom, you can see a photo of who attended, and you see all their names. Hebrew University, Ohio State, Woodley Weather Consultants. There he is. Very elusive man. I can't find his website. Um, anyway, and this is not pictured. Dr. Roloff, I'm not even going to attempt that. But um, this guy actually is one of the World Meteorological Association or organization's uh, expert team on weather modification. So he's one of the expert team guys, um, but he's not in the picture. So. And that's what they did for the days. So, and then when you get to here, it says in document additional research by Terraforming Incorporated. This is stuff from my geoengineering projects and experiments page. If you come over here, you're going to read a lot about the current ongoing geoengineering experiments, see the different methods that they use. And I've only covered the big ones so far, but look through here, you'll see stuff like the silver lining boats. You'll see the Haida Salmon Restoration Project. This is ocean iron fertilization to make algae grow. And then uh, the Stratoshield Hose in the Sky. This is a hose that goes all the way up the stratosphere, sprays sulfuric acid. It's sponsored by Bill Gates. It's made by, um, let's see, Intellectual Ventures. And uh, yeah, that's that. And then uh, you have the SPICE, the Stratospheric Particle Injection for Climate Engineering um, Project. That was actually squashed due to public outrage. Thank God. And then David Keith, he's going to be doing an experiment down in Arizona real soon, spraying the sky there. And he is president of Carbon Engineering, a company that wants to suck CO2 out of the air, put it in the ground. Uh, Ken Caldera holds all the... Um, patents for that so you might want to look into that too uh, and then finally bill gates down here we're going to get all, all of this i've moved over to this article so bill gates the hurricane tamer scientists a step closer to steering hurricanes uh and then the man who would stop hurricanes with car tires and then stephen salter and bill gates and then weakening of hurricanes via marine cloud brightening. This is um, from Stephen Salter's personal stash, as I per, um, previously mentioned, as well. And um, you can see the link there. And uh, th this one literally says that, I mean, they say they're going to do the silver lining project to, to make the clouds brighter to reflect sunlight back, that solar radiation management. But this is also linking this geoengineering project to hurricane modification because they're saying that we can do both weakening of hurricanes via our geoengineering boats and here's two videos from the american meteorological society on um this topic and uh one's from 2010 one's from 2011 so you know read all about it um then you have geoengineering testing the waters and then it even says right here that bill gates fund is funding the strato shield 
a 19 mile long hose and a tool that can supposedly blunt the force of hurricanes well that got my attention i said bill gates is doing hurricane modification and i gotta find this so this is what i found hurricane protection for investors using c-pumps i made that up actual name water alteration structure risk management or ecological alteration management systems and methods crazy right but here's here's the kicker william h gates that's bill gates that's ken caldera <laughs> that's Roderick Hyde. That's <laughs> Lowell Wood. All right, Roderick Hyde, Lowell Wood, and Edward Teller. Edward Teller was the father of the H bomb. Edward Teller, Lowell Wood, and Roderick Hyde invented geoengineering at the Lawrence Livermore uh, lab, National Labs. So Edward Teller's de dead, but Lowell Wood and Roderick Hyde are mixed in with Bill Gates, Ken Caldera, John Latham. And Steven Salter. I don't know the other names yet. I'm sure I'll get to know them in the near future. But that is that is a big old coincidence. All of the geo engineers are doing this: operate storm suppression equipment, alert at least one interested party as to the potential for storm damage. Hey, buddy, um, your oil fields might get destroyed by this hurricane coming. Provide information to at least one interested party of the cost and likelihood of reducing damage. For at least one interested party. You know, um, if the hurricane hits you, you could lose this amount of money. If we do our, you know, modification, you could potentially lose this amount of money or save this amount of money. So, and then finally, receiving at least one payment from the, the at least one interested party. So... Let me get this straight. Now you're going to take money from the oil guy and make sure the hurricane doesn't screw him up. Receive a request from interested party to provide storm protection. This was in the original patent application. This little process here is removed in all subsequent patent applications. Apparently somebody, maybe it, it just didn't fly with them that they would be selling hurricane protection. And then they said, well, let's just do hurricane protection without the selling it to to investors and all the other patent applications don't have this in there but I find that extremely telling that Bill Gates and all these geoengineers are all about selling some weather protection and then um, this is a uh, reducing hurricane intensity using arrays of at motion inks upwelling pumps and here's something from at motion as well these are uh, probably one in my opinion 100% these are the guys that they're talking about when they say upwelling pumps using pumps to um, mitigate hurricanes this is a Department of Homeland Security hurricane mitigation uh, presentation then you have the hurricane aerosol microphysics program HAMP in 2010 um, here's some PDFs on that. Here are the American Meteorological Society weather modification um, presentations on um, the HAMP program. And then here is the rise and fall of the HAMP program, followed by the NASA Genesis and Rapid Intensification Processes GRIP 2010. This is another study of hurricanes using UAVs um, and God knows what else. Here's some videos that follow that were presented to the American Meteorological Society based on evidence gathered during that. And then finally, you've got, this is great, geoengineering hurricanes. Watch that video. And then here's my video um, series, geoengineering Frankenstorm, HARP, solar-powered satellite, Department of Homeland Security, and the Air Force Weather Weapon System. And it's pretty interesting. I, you know, I, I think I need to go back and revise some of that. But for the most part, it's a, it's pretty accurate. Fin finally, we have the Weather Channel hacking the planet using ocean spray to slow hurricanes. Apparently, there's a big fuss about this. They said they're they're actually going to pull the episode, and not do it. But uh, you know, it's it seems like they're trying to prepare the public for this whole idea of blunting the force of hurricanes. And uh, you know, after ram ramming Sandy down their face, and these guys are still out in the cold today. You should everybody should pray for him and think about him because when Kanye West said that Bush didn't care about black people, does that mean Obama doesn't care about white people up in in, in the north? I, I don't think so. But regardless, it's happening all over again. Those guys are still out in the cold, and uh, you know billions of dollars are being handed around. And just like Haiti, um, the people on the ground will be the last to see it. So keep your eye, um, keep your keep them in your hearts. Keep um, this in the back of your head and know that. Men are, are vying to control your atmosphere. So um, come over to Terraforming Incorporated. Click Climate Engineering Exposed right here. 
and uh, learn about weather modification. Learn about climate engineering. Learn about geoengineering. This is Jim Lee, hoping you care. Because unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not.